I played baseball from the time I was six to the time I was 20. I played Little League, I played Pony League, I played high school ball, I played semi-pro. If you remember, I told you about that. It was so semi that I didn't get paid. You can't get much more semi than that. And in my long, illustrious, near Hall of Fame career, I hit five home runs. Now, I mean balls over the fence. A lot of the fields that we played on didn't have fences. And so I had a lot of home runs that I just legged out a long fly ball, long line drive, although I was very slow. So normally my experience was the ball would get to third base just when I got to third base. It was my, my experience. But I had actually hit five balls over the fence, and my longest home run that I remember was I hit from home plate over the center field fence at Lindsay Middle School onto the track. There's a plaque there now. You want to go, <laughs> want to go see that. And I love baseball. For some reason, some people don't, and they feel a responsibility to come up and tell me. They say, look, there's Ernie. Let's go tell him we hate baseball. Because <laughs> I played the game. I played. And let me tell you about an experience that, that is part of playing that, to me, just defines all that baseball is. When you hit a ball on the sweet spot of a wooden bat. Now, when you hit a ball with a bat, sometimes it stings. Sometimes, even on a, on a hit, it'll, the bat will feel heavy in your hand. You can feel the bat when you hit. But when you hit the ball on the sweet spot, the bat disappears in your hand. You don't even feel it. It is the sweetest feeling I know in all of the world. Only thing close to it is hitting a drive on the screws playing golf. Feels kind of like that, but not exactly like that. I see some of you men smiling. You felt that feeling of hitting the ball right on the sweet spot and then watching it sail through the air. And you're running the first base as hard as you can run. Now, I've had this experience. I mean, I would not trade this for all the money in the world. I've had the experience. I'm running the first base as hard as I can run, and I see the ball, I see the outfielder, Slowing down because he can't catch it. I see the ball going over the fence, and I pass first base, and I break into my trot. <laughs> and to me, all the practice and all the work and all the things that I did to get ready for games, it was all about that moment when I felt the bat in my hand lose all of its consistency and its reality and becomes a, a nothing. And to see the ball flying through the air and going over the fence, that's what it's all about. You can see it. And this is what John is saying here about our faith. The reason that the Word became flesh, the reason that Jesus did all that he did was so that we would have a different quality of life, a life of obedience to our Lord's commands and in doing so becoming like Jesus. That was the whole reason that he did what he did. So you see, God's love is made complete. So that plan comes to a completion when our lives are changed and we start living the life that Jesus lived.